Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Very glad that you're here. Today's topic is a couple of things. <laughs> so I sat down and when I was writing, I had the downloads very clearly that I was supposed to talk about and still will. What do I do next? And about how you need to follow your heart because your heart has all the answers. But it's funny, as I sat down to make this video right now, the thing that was coming out of me, out of my heart that would, that I needed to share is about showing up and what we're going to start talking about. So I guess this is kind of a two topic, one video thing is the more you show up, the more likely it is to happen and about how important it is to show up. And as you do that, the more likely it is to happen, the better results you will have, the better you'll get at it, the quicker things will move along. And so we'll talk about what it means to show up and why this came up. But the first notes I wrote, which we'll also talk about, is you may be watching this, and if you're in a place of what do I do next, I'm doing the things, nothing is working, or maybe you're, feel, you feel stuck and you don't know what to do, it's about following your heart. And they're kind of one and the same topic because in the end, you have all the answers, and the answers and the solutions that you're looking for come from your heart. They come from your heart. So let's talk about first about what that means about following your heart. So we're going to address this to begin. You know the answers to all the questions you have. You have the solutions to all the problems you have. You know whether or not this situation, this relationship, this job, this path that you're currently on, you know if it's the right situation, if it's the right path, if it's the right partner, etc., or not. And it's very clear. The answer comes from your heart. If it on paper looks fantastic and your brain says, man, it checks all the boxes and your logical mind is like, oh man, this doesn't get any better than this. But you can't help but feel this discord, this unhappiness, this dissatisfaction, something in the bottom of your gut, in your deepest part of your belly, in your abdomen, in your loins, in your heart, inside your body. No matter what it says in your mind, if all this is good on paper, but your heart says no, you've got to trust your heart. You've got to trust your body. There's something about our instincts, about the infinite intelligence. So you're watching this video and you resonate with the idea or the truth that we are not humans or we are not spirits. We are not humans having a spiritual experience. We're spirits, souls having a human experience. I'm sure you agree with that if you're watching this channel because this is what we talk about, right? Bridging the spiritual and the practical. I'm talking about personal development, but as it relates to your higher self and your consciousness. And the reason I bring that up is like this. Your heart is the source of love, not your head, your heart. When you feel in love, when you truly love somebody, and not just romantically, you love your dog, you love your sister, you love your uncle, your brother, your cousin, you love your best friend. It's a friend love. It really comes from your heart. It's true. Where do you feel that love when you feel that care or you feel loved for? Do you feel it in your head? Do you feel it in your shoulder? Do you feel it in your knee? No, your heart comes from that warm, gooey feeling in your chest, in your belly, in the center of your body. It comes from your heart. Your heart is the compass for your life. Your heart is the guiding truth that's trying to show you what will bring you the most happiness, the best health, the most love, the most money, your happiest, healthiest, most fulfilling timeline. It all comes from following your heart. What does your heart want? Is your heart want this? Does your heart want that? That's what you should follow. Now, if you're anything like me, and I doubt you are, you're certainly not a human being living on this earth with any problems and going through stuff with your money and your career, with your health, with relationships. I doubt you have any of those problems, right? You're, you're not doing any of that shit. We're all human beings, so you probably have the same uh, tendencies as me. And that tendency is when we feel this calling in our heart about knowing the right answer about a particular situation, a relationship, a direction we're on, and we can feel it so deeply in our heart, what immediately happens is we get how we're feeling influenced by the thoughts in our mind. And the thoughts in our mind come from past experiences, past relationships, our belief system from when we were really young, and whatever else stuff that you've thrown on top of there. And most of the time, our heart is not in accordance or agreement, or our mind is not in accordance with our heart. 
Oh man, uh, I know in my heart for this place to be not good for me. It feels so gross and I feel like my soul's being sucked out of the, out of my, um, I'm like a little piece of me is dying every time I go into work. But on paper, she get all vacation days, it's good pay, gives you a little prestige, some status in the community and in society and approval from others. On paper, it looks amazing and it, you know, challenges you intellectually. In your heart, you can't stand this place. So this is you, this is your higher self, your soul speaking to you saying, bro, sis, get out of here. I'm dying on the inside. This is not for you. And so we have this disagreement, this battle between what our heart really wants and what our mind thinks is best for us. Now, I'm here to tell you that your happiest, highest, most fulfilling, loving, abundant timeline comes from you following the feelings in your heart, what you truly feel to be right and as you as you go about that journey and you encounter this discord that you have with your ego the thoughts in your mind your belief system that this isn't right or dude this is so good there's no way I could give up this job or oh my god she's so hot dude and this is so great like in my mind everything is cool but in your heart you're like ah, eh, something's not right like something's not right here how many times have you gone against your heart and said oh this is not right and it ended up being the best thing for you how many times has something looked great on paper and you get swept away in the emotion but you ignore that gut feeling that deep feeling in your heart that said this isn't right and you got burned for it your heart always knows the truth that is the core of this message what i want to do is remind you to follow your heart and to help you become aware to remember that what's going to happen is often when you follow your heart you're going to be intercepted you're going to be intercepted by your own belief system, your own limiting beliefs, your own fears, or that which has been instilled into you by other people, your parents probably from the way you grew up, your teachers, friends, uh, family members, um, certain experiences that you've had in your life. They all are going to add a shade of color to the true vision and color that you see with your heart. So to be mindful of that, you have to listen to your heart and be mindful that there is going to be discord a lot with the thoughts in your mind. So you know the answers to the questions you're asking. You know what's right and what's wrong in your heart. Clear the space and let the answers come. Declutter, detox your mind and body. Open yourself. Create space in order to ask the right questions to yourself and observe the answers that come up. You have to trust and detach that when you do this, the right answers, the right solutions, the right people and opportunities will come to you. You don't have to force anything. You don't have to do anything. As a matter of fact, when you try to force and do things, you're interfering with the divine timing, your own manifestation, your creation, the flow of life in the universe. You're only sabotaging yourself, putting off that which you deserve and desire even longer because you're so attached, you're trying to control everything, you're stymieing the magic of the universe, the miracles that wanna come into your life. You don't have to do anything. It's more about getting out of the way and letting things come to us. So Abraham Hicks talks about like this, what she says is that we all have an infinite stream of well-being coming to us. Well-being and abundance is constantly showering us from the universe, our, our angels, our guides, our ancestors. We are constantly being blessed every single day. And it's, then you're asking, well, I don't believe that for a second. Why is it that nothing good comes into my sleep? Because you have a belief system. You have unhealed traumas that are telling you, you don't, that it shouldn't be easy, that it shouldn't come naturally, that you aren't worth it, that you're not good enough, that because you did this mistake in the past or that person did this to you, that you don't deserve it. That's the only reason why. What we have to do is learn to follow our hearts and learn to love, of course, ourselves and others. And it's so cliche, especially nowadays with this whole like woke culture, it's turning into a meme and all this shit, but it's true. You do have to love yourself because if you don't love yourself, you're not going to allow the blessings to come into your life. You're not gonna allow that amazing partner to come into your life. You're not going to think you're worthy or deserving when you do get the opportunity. So you've got to listen to your heart and be aware of the mind, the beliefs the patterns, the thoughts that your mind is trying to fight you with. When you come to a situation where your heart clearly feels the quote unquote right way or it's guiding you in one way, but you begin to talk yourself out of it, what's happening is this is you shedding light on what it is you need to heal in your trauma. 
When you come to a situation where your heart clearly feels one way, but you begin to talk yourself out of something good, there's trauma there. There's a set of beliefs in your mind and there's a physical response in your body. That's how you will know. It, it, when you think about it, it makes you happy in your heart, that warm, gooey, lovey, gushy feeling when you're loving or being loved truly and authentically with no strings attached. When you have the discord about following your heart and then something says, nope, you can't do that because this, this, and this, nope, you're not, bop, bop, bop. That's because there's a trauma in between your heart and your mind. There's a disconnect there. So when this happens, this is our job to go in and reprogram our beliefs to recognize that there's pain from a past situation. There's a false belief that's working against us that wasn't ours or wasn't true. And we have to go in and begin to work on that so we can create harmony within our body, within our hearts and our mind. And when we do this, then you're really in the flow. Your manifestations only become instant. The blessings and opportunities will almost be instantaneous in your reality because now there's absolutely zero block. Now your heart and your mind are working together. Now the beliefs are in accordance with your mind. You're in harmony. That stuff's going to manifest quickly. That's how it works. It's how it works, guys. And um, it's difficult. <laughs> what I will tell you is this will be super uncomfortable for you. It will be exhausting. You will feel the disharmony. This is how you know this is what you have to work on because you're going to be so uncomfortable. Your ego is going to say, nope, 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 nope. We're not doing that. Nope. BS. Nope but yet your heart really wants it, you're gonna feel uncomfortable. It's, you're gonna stay up late at night. You're gonna think about it. There's something there that has to be addressed. That's what our emotions are there for. Our emotions are guideposts as to what we're supposed to work on and overcome in life so we can attract what we want into our lives and build that which we have a vision for. Anything else is just something to be healed or that's in the way from what your heart truly wants. It's our job. This is the work. It's supposed to be uncomfortable. It's exhausting. I've shared this before. I'll tell you some of these like emotional experiences I've had these personal development courses, man, I could sit there and lift heavy ass weights for two hours and sprint a couple miles and go out to football practice and blah, 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 and work out a shoot ton and be physically exhausted. I'll tell you a short time of real emotional healing and work will have me tired for days. My spiritual awakening ascension symptoms will have me exhausted for weeks harder than any other workout. That's how you know you're doing the work when you are it's faced up again. It's so uncomfortable, guys. It's so uncomfortable. It's not easy. And so I'm here to like, this isn't all sunshine and roses. No, this stuff is terrible, man. It is tough. It is. It's not terrible. It's amazing, but it's difficult. It's challenging. And it's supposed to be, this is you lifting weights spiritually. It's not supposed to be easy. What happens when you overcome weights that are super heavy as hell physically, your body changes in a better way. It becomes stronger. This is you lifting emotional and spiritual weights. When you approach the stuff you don't want to do and you go right into it and you heal that stuff, you're going to be exhausted like a hard workout, but you heal, you become a better person. All of a sudden, the world starts to look different. And you'll know because you'll respond to situations differently. You'll become more aware of yourself and be easier to see these situations, relationships, jobs, whatever, etc. people that used to trigger you. You'll have a whole different response. This is how you know you're doing the work. You've got to trust your heart at all costs trust your heart and follow your inner guidance this is your soul speaking to you through your heart it's this is your emotional guidance system it's always pointing you in the right direction and it's very simple so simple that our egos say that's stupid it can't be this simple and it's this simple do what feels good in your heart genuinely authentically does it make you happy truly regardless of anyone else, whether they were here or not, does it make you happy in your heart? If it does, that's what you should be doing. Anything that says otherwise is just your ego or old traumas, past beliefs, etc., that need to be examined and jumped into and healed. And it's exhausting. It's tiring, but oh my God, it's worth it. Chances are, if you're watching this video on this channel, you already know that, that it's worth it. So these are just friendly reminders as I try to share. Your body knows it will feel right or not. Your body is an instrument. It's a tool for the divine. When you go into a room and it's a bad vibe and you don't know why, it seems like everyone else is having a good time. You have to trust your body. Your body is a freaking manifestation of the infinite intelligence. You don't have to tell it to heal. You don't have to tell it to breathe before you go to bed at night. You don't have to tell it to grow your fingernails out. Dude, your body is a constant in the flow creation of nature that's always adapting and that adaptation is sharing its knowledge with you in wisdom. 
Now, it also will tell you what you need to heal if you encounter the same situations because a person, type of person triggers you or a type of place or whatever. That is a trauma that's living in your body again that needs to be addressed and healed. Our body is such a tool. It's one of the most highly advanced, sophisticated tools we have. We've just become so disconnected because we smoke and drink and do drugs and eat a shit ton of sugar and fatty and salty foods and don't exercise and numb our emotions and our pain so we become disconnected from our body. When you allow the infinite intelligence of your body to come through, it will show you what needs to heal. It will guide you along with your heart where and when and what and who is the quote unquote right situation for you. It'll point you to the lessons you need to learn, the places you need to be, etc. Listen to your body, listen to your heart, anything else that's pulling you away, examine it, go in and heal. That's the message for today's videos, video, guys. Your body knows. You have to heal by exploring the sensations in your body, noticing the thoughts that come up for whatever sensations in your body. So if you continue to see, you know, um, whatever in this work environment, and you have like ugh, tightening up cringe experience in your body, there's an infinite intelligence there that's telling you, it's either showing an unhealed trauma in your body, or it's giving you a warning, an instinctual um, scenario about what's going on. And they could be one and the same. This stuff goes deep, there's so many levels to it. So I just really, today wanna nail home the message to please follow your heart, understand your body is an instrument and what our mind tries to do is disconnect us from our heart and disconnect us from our body so that we can't see the truth. You've got to learn to open your heart up and allow it to show you the truth. Then your mind, your third eye, your intuition will begin to form. You will know, again, the right, quote unquote, people, places, things, situations, jobs, relationships, etc., to the point where you'll know exactly what your body wants to eat. Your higher self is constantly speaking to you. It's speaking to you through your heart and through your body. And your mind, when you, it's a tool, and when you learn to program your mind to be on the same page as your body, your mind, or your body and your heart, you are you are in a state of what's called heart and brain coherence. Um, Dr. Joe Dispenza talks about that. I recommend you look into Dr. Joe Dispenza's work if you have not. It is groundbreaking, life changing, transformational, uh, spiritual truth, um, and man, he is a master teacher of it. So please look into his work if that resonates with you. I'm telling you guys, this is what it's about. This is the juice. This is the key to you living your happiest, healthiest, most fulfilling your life. Fulfilling life is following your heart. Because imagine this. I'll put it to you like this. Imagine doing only every day what makes your heart happy, regardless of what your mind says. At first, in the world we live in, of course, it doesn't seem practical. But take that out and imagine doing the unpractical, and all you did what was what felt good on your heart all day. How would you feel at the end of the day? What if it, you didn't have everything you have, but you were just living that life in that heart-centered space every day? You wouldn't care what your life looked like. You wouldn't care what you have because you'd be doing what you love every day. Your heart would be fulfilled. So you wouldn't feel like you needed anything anymore because you're living with a full, abundant, loving heart for yourself and all these other opportunities, people, places, and things will start to come into your life. It's how it works, man, I promise you. So listen to your heart. Now, okay, of course, we have this beautiful um, master computer that's called our brain, our mind. What we have never been taught, what the key is, is to learn to use your brain correctly. Basically, what you input into your brain, which is what you tell yourself and allow other people to tell you or influence you, your friends, your family, social media, the news, etc. what you program into your brain is what will become your belief system that will help you create your reality or create the discord and the difficult circumstances as you create your reality because you'll be it'll be working against you so learn to tap into your heart by learning to tap into your body detox rest get in touch with your body follow your heart and then become aware mentally spiritually and trust your intuition Med this is where meditation is so um, powerful to become aware of what the thoughts are around you following your heart and as you do that then it will show you what you need to heal. It will show you the disconnect, what beliefs are not in accordance with what it is you want in your heart. Well, what are my beliefs around that? Well, I really want love and an amazing woman to come into my life, okay? But my belief underneath that is that I'm not worthy of the woman, the type of woman that I want. I'm not good enough. There aren't any good women out there. Uh, they're all they're all hoes. They'll betray you. You can't trust them. Well, dude, if I'm sitting here trying to attract the love of my life, but I have these underlying beliefs that are, aren't in accordance with the type of love that I want, 
with the, you know, with the type, um, the type of relationship I want to express that truly, well, am I going to attract that? No, I'm going to attract what my mind's thinking because then I, then my ego can be right. So although I want this in my heart, my heart is actually going to guide me to whatever I believe in because it's like, well, dude, you don't trust all these women. You're right. You've got to learn to heal all that stuff and have your mind and your beliefs be in accordance with your heart and what you want. You see what I'm saying? Is I worked that example. If I'm my heart, I'm like, I want to be wealthy, not just for like an ego reason of like status and what I can wear and buying designer crap, although there's nothing wrong with that. You want it so that you can take care of your family and be in good health and have the freedom to go and travel and do the places you want to do and the events you want to do for your mental, emotional, spiritual, and physical growth. Well, if I want to have all that money in my life, but I think that money doesn't grow on trees, you have to work your ass off 70 days, uh, 70 hours a week in order to be successful. You have to grind all night with no sleep, no rest, and burn out till you die in order to get rich but you want it to come easy. You think you can have this heart-centered, soul-based business where you're really giving your gifts to the world, but you have that belief system. It's not gonna be easy. It's gonna be damn near impossible. It's gonna be, it's gonna be difficult. So you've got to get these things to work in harmony. Listen to your heart and your body, trust that, and then become aware of your thoughts that are in discordance, or that are in discord with one another that are not allowing you to have a harmony of creation. This is how we do. This is how, this is the healing journey. And it sucks, man. This is not easy. It sucks. <laughs> and it's always, it doesn't suck. It's fantastic. It's amazing, but it's challenging and it's not stuff we want to do. But you already know, again, if you're watching this video, you're a healer by nature. So you can't heal others uh, past the ability that you've healed yourself. Or maybe you can, but in my experience, it's hard to do that, right? Like, could I coach someone on how to be a millionaire, even though I'm not a millionaire? Maybe, but I don't really know what I'm doing that well. If I was a millionaire and I've been there, I could probably better coach someone to be a millionaire. It's the same thing with this. So you are a healer, you're a light worker. That's why you're watching this video. So unless you're doing the work, you can only heal people to the level that you need to. But in order to fulfill your calling and your purpose, which is to help people heal, to leave a greater, happier, busier, or a more fulfilling life, not busier, uh, happier, more fulfilling, abundant, abundant life, You've got to go there yourself so that you can share your gifts and your energy and teachings with other people. That's what we do. Um, so you've got to explore what your beliefs and feelings are and you've got to let go. When you clear the energy in your body and your environment and you create space in your mind through meditation, through spending time in silence and solitude, through being in nature, you become a clear channel to receive the pure divine guidance from your higher self. So if you want to learn to develop your intuition and trust that higher self, that soul-based voice of you, this is paramount you've got to become a clear channel for your mind your third eye to be open to receive the downloads the wisdom the information that your heart's trying to share with you so that you can teach others this and not even teach others just to help yourself to really be on your true path of alignment of abundance of health of love of relationships of romance of adventure whatever it is you want in your life heart and brain coherence we've got to get these two things to work together You've got to clear your mind, meditation, let it be an open blank canvas to be present. Let the messages come through. And when you're there and you're listening to your heart and following that, that's when the magic happens. That's when the beauty happens. Trust your heart, clear the space, and move forward confidently knowing that this is in the right direction regardless of how it looks on the surface. It's not supposed to be comfortable. As a matter of fact, it won't be. This is growth. This is the work. Your reward, your manifestations, your blessings are on the other side of the challenge of the discomfort and change that you're experiencing. The quotes I'll leave you with today, both by Helen Keller actually, as it relates to the heart. It's only with the heart that one can see rightly what is essential is invisible to the eye. Helen Keller, the second one, beautiful. The best and most beautiful things cannot be seen or even touched, they must be felt with the heart. Dude, your heart is the answer. Your heart has the wisdom and the blessings, everything that you want is on the other side of you learning to trust your heart. And a big part of that, if you've really been wounded, you've had some abuse happen when you were young or all through your adult life, is learning to forgive. Forgiveness is not to forget. It's to learn the lessons and remove your attachments and holding on to that heavy weight so that you can be free. It's not about letting someone off the hook. It's about you being free, forgiving your heart. This is how you clear the space in your heart for, and trust your heart to guide you. This is forgiveness. And this is also, again, the mental aspect is programming your mind, becoming aware of the beliefs and working on those. So that's what I got for you today, guys. 
trust your heart, follow your heart, clear the space and work on the subconscious beliefs that are not in accordance with what your heart wants as you work on this. And this is hard, consistent work like every day, all the time. I know who wants to do that. It sucks. Well, you'll either get to a place where you'll keep repeating the cycles over and over and you get so drained and annoyed and it'd be so painful. You finally decide to make a change or hopefully you will have the humility to learn from the love that the universe is always teaching us with. But if you're anything like me and you probably are because you're watching this video, you're stubborn and I'm the stubborn as hell, man. So I've had to been humbled so many times from the universe so I could finally be humble and open my heart to say, I don't know, show me, trust me, or show me and teach me, I trust. And now I'm in that place and this beautiful world of abundance is coming into me. But oh my God, it's not easy, dude. I mean, now all of a sudden I feel like I have my money, my career, and my purpose on lockdown and I'm super focused. But of course I was like, okay, I'm ready to date. And now I'm, I'm having, you know, women come into my life, but oh my God, all my unhealed mommy issues are coming up to be triggered. And I'm like, dude, geez, man. Okay. I got one area in my life. Good. But like, this is what I want. You're showing me exactly right away what I got to heal in order to attract a healthy, amazing relationship that I am manifesting. I'm being shown what I need to work on. It doesn't stop. It's difficult, guys, but goddamn, is it worth it? And you know that. So continue to shine brightly. Please listen to your heart. Know that you're loved and you're supported. Know that you're also protected on a spiritual level, that everything is happening for you, not to you. I will see you next time. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, share the video if it resonates with someone or you think someone popped in your head that it might resonate with. Anyways, peace and love. We'll see you next time. Later. Peace.